Welcome to Storytime today at Forest Ward. Today we're going to read Where's Willie by Seymour Wright. This is one of my favorite books. It's so cute. <laughs> All right, Willie was a kitten. He had big blue eyes and a small pink nose. And he had a boy of his own named Peter. When Willie came to stay, Peter's father gave him a fine straw basket with a big soft pillow. He said, this is for Willie to sit in. But Willie never did. Willie had no time to sit. He was too busy sniffing and snooping and poking and pawing and running and rolling and crawling into things. Willie liked crawling into things best of all. <laughs> He crawled into bags and boxes. He crawled into pans and pails. He crawled into socks and sacks. He crawled into hats and holes. Willie crawled into everything that could be crawled into. But Willie never crawled into his straw basket with the big soft pillow. One day Willie was gone. Peter looked and looked, but he couldn't find his kitten anywhere. Soon the phone rang. It was the postman. He said, I found Willie in my mail bag. Do you want me to mail him someplace? Peter's father said, no, we will come and get him. So he and Peter went to the post office and brought Willie home. The next day, Willie was gone again. Peter looked and looked, but he couldn't find his kitten anywhere. Soon the phone rang. It was the grocer. He said, I found Willie in my grocery basket. Do you want me to put him on the shelf and sell him? Peter's father said, no, we will come and get him. So he and Peter went to the grocery store and brought Willie home. The next day, Willie was gone again. Peter looked and looked, but he couldn't find his kitten anywhere. Soon the phone rang. It was the laundry man. He said, I found Willie in my laundry bag. Do you want me to wash and iron him? Peter's father said, no, we will come and get him. So he and Peter went to the laundry and brought Willie home. Every day, Peter and his father went to get Willie, and every day, Willie kept, went right on crawling into things. But Willie never crawled into his straw basket with the big soft pillow. One day, Willie was gone for a long time. Peter waited for the phone to ring. He waited and waited and waited and waited, but it didn't ring at all. Peter began to worry. He phoned the postman, but Willie wasn't there. The postman began to worry. He phoned the grocer, but Willie wasn't there. The grocer began to worry. He phoned the laundry man, but Willie wasn't there. Soon everybody was looking for Willie. The laundry man phoned the milkman. The milkman phoned the painter. The painter phoned the plumber. The plumber phoned his uncle Fred. His uncle Fred phoned the lady next door. The lady next door phoned the man across the street. They looked and looked and looked, but they couldn't find Willie anywhere. Peter looked the hardest of all. He looked in all the bags and boxes. He looked in all the pans and pails. He looked in all the socks and sacks. He looked in all the hats and holes, but he couldn't find Willie anywhere. Peter was very sad. He said, we will never find Willie. This time he is gone for good. Just then, Peter heard a noise. 
Peter ran into the next room and there was Willie. Willie was sitting in the middle of his straw basket right on the big soft pillow and he liked it. The end. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today at Storytime.